course, we're joined by Chief Meteorologist Kevin Craig. Kevin, another really kind of warm day for them out there if they're still mm -hmm. hunting. Yeah, not only that, uh, it will be warm on the backside of this day as well. We're going to have temperatures that get up into the 60s today. Good morning, everybody. We have some high fin cirrus clouds out there. We'll start with mostly sunny skies this morning, but we'll thicken the cloud cover up throughout the day. This is our last mild day into the 60s today. Colder pattern begins to unfold tomorrow. You'll feel it. And then snow for Thanksgiving with an Arctic blast of air. I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. Nothing on radar. We're dry. Current temperatures as cold as 29 in Allegan, 37 in Grand Rapids, 40 in Muskegon, 43 right now in South Haven. Wind speeds aren't big uh, right now on our big deal right now, but they are going to ramp up. We'll pick this up at nine o'clock this morning. Watch the colors and these numbers ramp up to about 10 to 20 mile per hour through the day out of the south and west. Then you'll see the oranges, the reds, the magentas here this evening and overnight. They're going to go out of the southwest at about 15 to 25 miles per hour, even at about 20 to 30 miles per hour from Holland up towards Hart uh, in uh, Mason County as well. There could be some 40 to 45 mile per hour gusts in there through the overnight hours uh, and into tomorrow morning. They're still strong about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then as we go through our Friday, those wind speeds will gradually diminish, but it's going to take some time to get there. Let's look back at the last six hours of clouds and radar movement. Had clear skies, some frost has settled in. Now the high thin cirrus clouds are advancing in here. Still going to be a nice day, still going to see some sunshine, but the trend is going to be for the clouds to gradually thicken through the day. So that's what the forecast reads. AM sunshine, increasing PM clouds, breezy, unseasonably warm. Highs in the low to mid 60s with that south southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Here's what's happening as this system draws a little bit closer. Those wind fields will tighten up, will increase the cloud cover. We're in the warm sector out ahead of that frontal system, so that's why we're so warm. But as we go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning, this cold front is going to work in here. There'll be a few scattered showers. The forecast models have really pulled back in the amount of precipitation, probably only a tenth, maybe two tenths of an inch uh, overnight into tomorrow morning, and then the colder air filters in. So that front will move out of here. The rain will move out and We'll see some sunshine probably by Friday afternoon, but it is going to be noticeably colder and still somewhat breezy as well. As we go into Saturday, cold temperatures to start in the upper 20s to lower 30s, but mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, even though there's a weak cold front that's going to be moving on through. Look at the upper air analysis. All the colors on this map are cold air. You're going to really see the whites and the pinks, the magentas come down from Canada. This is Monday at 6 p.m. Not really that cold by that time, but watch this plan of colder air as we get into Tuesday. We'll see some rain on Tuesday. That'll mix us and change over to snow showers Tuesday evening. And by Wednesday, we start to see this great big trough set up with the colder air. You know what that's going to do? That's going to start to get the lake effect snow making machine going by the time we get into Thursday. Uh, I think it'll probably be tapering off later on Thursday, but Wednesday and then into Thursday morning, there could be accumulating lake effect snow, especially along and west of US 131 because of the Arctic air. We're in the 60s today with sunshine, maybe some morning rain showers tomorrow. That 58 is in the wee hours of the morning because we'll drop into the 40s and stay there. But at least we should get back to some afternoon sunshine. Dry, comfortable with some sunshine there in the 40s for Saturday and Sunday. We're still in the 40s for Monday and then rain eventually mixing with some snow showers on Tuesday night and then lake effect snow showers only in the 30s before Thanksgiving on Wednesday. That's weather. Let's check traffic now at 717. Here's Rob.